So if I was so if I just joined the TikTok creativity program beta now finding myself in a position where I'm having to make videos that are longer than a minute in order to be rewarded for those videos. Here is what I would do exactly in order to transition successfully from short to long form content and by success I mean in a way that allows you to get rewarded, get views, get engagement and ultimately still maintain your following going forward. These are five things that I would do and although I'm not in the TikTok creativity program beta currently being based in the UK, I have in fact managed to transition my videos from short to long form on my account and although I'm not saying I'm a whiz or a guru or anything like that, I've done it in such a way that I'm still getting views, I'm still getting followers and I'm still getting a relatively healthy amount of engagement as well. So if you find value from this video, give this video a thumbs up. Do also subscribe if you feel up to as well. And I will drop some resources in the description also, which you can feel free to take a look at, to go and read up and do your own research beyond the scope of this video. First and foremost, I would understand community guidelines. You cannot avoid breaking community guidelines that you do not understand. So this is quite simple. Research, read and understand community guidelines. Nowadays, you don't even need to read the whole thing word for word. You can just copy them and put them into ChatGPT to summarize them for you. So you know exactly what the rules are and what rules not to break while you are within the TikTok creativity program beta. Yes, TikTok will make mistakes. Yes, they will still flag some of your videos, even though you've not necessarily broken any community guidelines. But by doing this, you severely reduce any chances of you unknowingly breaking community guidelines and putting yourself in a worse off position. I would utilize TikTok search. So what I mean by that is for planning my future content and doing my research, I would find content that people are searching for by going into the actual search tab on TikTok within my space, within my niche, typing in terms that I feel like I could provide content towards to gauge and get an idea of whether people are interested in this content, whether people are searching for this content. What I would do is review the results and check whether the videos that are already providing or delivering within that space and are more than a minute long, are they getting good engagement? And again, are they more than a minute long? Are they getting the right likes? Are they getting the comments? And are those people growing within long form content within the space or niche that I'm in? What I'd also consider is whether I'm able to deliver on that level or not. So I can see these videos that people are doing, but can I see myself doing those types of videos in the longer term? Am I an expert within that space as well? So if I can see that there's a certain number of videos that are doing well within this niche, do I feel like I know that topic? Can I confidently talk about it? Have I got any evidence to back it up? If I don't, can I learn it very quickly? So those are kind of the points that I'd be keeping in my mind while I'm doing that research. Ideally, you want to answer yes to all of those questions. If you don't, then you just want to keep researching third thing I would do is start. So following the research, assuming that I can now see that people are providing content within the space that I'm familiar and I'm an expert in, and I'm happy that I'm able to create those types of videos. I understand the topic and I can quite comfortably discuss and create videos and put together a nice presentation around those topics. Then I will go straight in and start. What this looks like is you would be modeling success. So you're looking at the videos that are being created that work. You're not necessarily copying them exactly word for word, frame for frame, but you're modeling what works within those videos and putting your own spin to it. Because you can see them right within the results that come up from the TikTok search tab. You can see what works. You can see that there's a community of people that are interested in these videos. There's a lot of likes, a lot of engagement, etc. So pick up the parts of those videos that work that you can realistically replicate. Like I couldn't replicate, for example, Charlie D'Amelio, who's got, you know, God knows how many followers and she's probably got a whole company or companies with teams that work on behalf of her. I can't replicate that level. But if there's another single creator that creates similar type of content to me, I can perhaps replicate their editing, their talking style, their lighting. I can maybe replicate the graphics that they put on their videos, the music, etc. 
the SEO, all that stuff. So pick out what you're able to replicate and work on that level. Mix your content up as well. So once you've created those videos, you don't wanna just start bombarding people with long form content only. If you're someone that was previously used to creating shorter form content, I would mix long form and short videos and kind of gauge and see what the comparison is between the longer and the shorter form videos. Because again, you don't wanna push all your audiences away because you're now doing something that's completely different. You wanna just phase it in slowly and eventually you'll take the jump when the time comes. You wanna fail fast and learn as well. And what I mean by that is you wanna be consistent. You don't just wanna post one long video a week unless your schedule only allows you to do that. You wanna show up a couple of times at least a week, maybe post one long video a day, because once you do that, you'll fail fast. And once you fail fast, you learn fast. And once you learn fast, you're able to pick up and improve and move on to the next thing quickly. Whereas the slower you go, the slower you'll learn and the slower you'll adapt. Also, what you wanna think about is your SEO. You want your SEO to be on point as well. Just like YouTube, your title, your description, your tags, they need to match the topic that you're talking about. The beautiful thing with TikTok is it shows you what hashtags people are searching for next to that search bar. If you go into that relevant tab, title can pretty much match what people are searching for. So when people type that in, your video is one of the videos that come up. So you wanna make sure your title is great. Your description has some of those hashtags in there naturally as well. And you've included the hashtags within that as well. And what you also wanna do, which a lot of people miss SEO wise, TikTok has technology that listens to you while you're talking in the video, if it's a video where you are talking. So you want to mention the words, like in this video, I'm talking about longer form content. I'm talking about the TikTok creativity program beta, for example. I know that the YouTube algorithm or the YouTube technology hears what I can say, can transcribe what I'm saying. Therefore, it can match that to the words that I've put in my title description. So yeah, ultimately, just making sure that your SEO is on point. Now, what you also wanna do is rinse and repeat, which again is something that I did. I didn't just show up once or twice creating longer videos. I created multiple videos initially to gauge, to get the data and see what works and see what doesn't work. Longer videos can take time to pick up. Okay, you wanna be consistent. You wanna try, fail, try, fail, try, fail until you see this one style of video that completely blows up and picks up. If that's a style of video that you're happy with, you're happy that you can create that style of video multiple times, you're happy that there's enough demand for various types of topics that you're an expert in, you're happy that you're able to put together that type of presentation over and over again and you're able to engage with the audiences, then you can then lean towards that one style of video that is completely blown up. So repeat, rinse and repeat again and again and again. Back up your content. And what I mean by that, if you're trying something new, if you just joined the TikTok creativity program beta, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know if you're gonna accidentally end up breaking community guidelines and reach the limit and have your account completely deleted, in which case you'd be losing all of your account history and everything. So you don't wanna take the risk of losing all of your content. You want to back it up by, for example, uploading the same content on another platform, which is like YouTube or maybe IG, the same thing that I've done. Shorts that I've got on this channel come from TikTok and they're pretty much my whole TikTok library of shorts is on this channel right here. So if TikTok was to disappear, I've got all that content here as well. So I've got at least a good place to start. Essentially, in a nutshell, that is what I would do if I was in that position. I hope you guys find value from this. Any questions you've got, drop them in the comments and do check out the description as well, where there'll be a load of free resources that you can take advantage of to do further research beyond the scope of this video. If you'd like to understand more about the TikTok creativity program beta, I've done a playlist, which will be linked somewhere on the screen right now. Feel free to jump in and check that out if you have got any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.